You, the, your success will be measured against your promises. Tandaan the President promised at the end of his term, single-digit poverty okay. incidence rate. Ang interpretation ko dun, not more than 9%. Correct. Okay. And of course, may assumption siya. Di ba, saan siya nag-umpisa? Di ba, nung, nung na-turn over sa administration niya, may assumption siya. Ang layo, ang, ang na-assumption na it's not in the vicinity of 30%, which is reflected by your figures na sinuyod ninyo from the ground. Ang mas maganda nga yung figures ninyo, mas maniniwala ako sa figures ninyo. Good news, mahigit 672 million or 37 billion pesos na pangakong pamumuhunan ang magiging pasalubong ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. sa mga Pilipino mula sa kanyang pagdalo sa 30th Asia-Pacific Economic Leaders Meeting sa San Francisco, California. Mula sa nabanggit na halaga, 400 million dito ay mula sa telecommunications sector, 250 million dollars para sa semiconductor at electronics, 20 million dollars sa pharmaceutical healthcare, 2 million dollars sa artificial intelligence weather forecasting, at 0.3 million dollars sa renewable energy. Nakuha rin ni Pangulong Marcos ang commitment para sa suporta sa oncology hospital na magpapahusay sa episyente serbisyo para sa mga pasyenteng may cancer. Sinabi ng PCO na karagdagang 1 billion na pamumuhunan para sa semiconductor industry ang nakalinya na para sa negosasyon sa mga kumpanya sa Amerika. Nagkasundo ang Pilipinas at Amerika na magtutulungan para mapalakas ang semiconductor supply chain sa bansa. 2 billion? 32 billion. Yes, 32 billion. So kung uh, this uh, constitutes uh, the 33.312 uh, billion constitutes the uh, house increases. Uh, again, again, uh, Mr. President, 32, yung committee report po natin increases the net by 32 billion. The house version more than our increases. So, so sige nga, uh, dun, did we retain the proposed house increases? Not in totality. Yes, in the meantime, we retain, but there's also a significant reduction uh, in the Senate version. Around 1 billion? One, uh, yes, not around, quite. Uh, 800 million. Okay, around the, uh, 800 million. Uh, what what pops were affected by our reduction? Compared to, uh, compared to the GAB? I think uh, the reduction involves the four P's. Uh, among, among. Those who have graduated and uh, also... Uh, different uh, projects such as uh, the reduction in the sustainable livelihood, uh, I believe, as it has already been encompassed by other projects. Ah, sige, yun, yun yung, the sustainable, sustainable Livelihood Program is meant, uh, ito pa, yun yung understanding, is meant to be the uh, follow-up program for those who have improve their life circumstances under the 4 Peace program. Tama po ba yun? Parang graduated yun, di ba? You, from 4 Peace, you, are, you now go to SLP? Yes, that's correct. But uh, the SLP um, is also uh, also involves other uh, projects in the Kalahi Seeds and others. Yes. So I think there's an effort to streamline and simplify this livelihood project. The magic words have been uh, mentioned, uh, Mr. President. That's why uh, if uh, SLP uh, contains the Kalai seeds, that's why I fail to understand what SLP is all about because I really do not understand what Kalai seeds is. So, siguro, we will we'll devote time, siguro, Mr. President, uh, para maintindihan po natin, no? okay? Okay, Kalai seeds is what? A program of the DSWD? Yes, uh, the Kalahi Seeds, as we know, is Kaunlaran at Kabuhayan sa Barangay KKB. And uh, this was a program uh, that started in the early 2000s. Uh, first, it was foreign funded. As we recall, uh, there were uh, uh, OS aid grants uh, derived by then Secretary Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. So, matagal na matagal na to, mga tira tira na to. Yung iba rito, eh, galing sa foreign funded, sa World Bank, ngayon, mm. nag-a-apply na naman sa ADB. Mm. Yung iba 
naman, totally locally funded. So, among the modalities, yung kauna-unahan, eh, yung community-driven development. So, there's a 500 million here na binibigay sa LGU to choose kung ano yung gusto nila. Whether it's an artesian well or uh, a, a farm-to-market road, uh, bahala yung LGU. So, isa yung ganon. And then, uh, there's also the pag-abot the Pag-Abot uh, project, which is a reach-out project for street dwellers, which is also affiliated with another project of one of our uh, colleagues, and that's the Balik Probinsya. Pag-alis pag nila sa mga lansangan, dadalhin sila sa probinsya. So that's back-to-back, -back, Pag-Abot at saka Balik Probinsya. Pagkatapos nito, meron tayong iba't ibang cash for work, which is derived from the 2022 APRO, yung na-extend natin dahil sa COVID, yung cash for work. Ito na naman, yung mga uh, persons with disabilities, uh, may 300 million for the graduates and college students who are unable to find work post-pandemic, may 1 billion dyan. And then there's a new pilot project called the Tarabasa Tutoring Program, which endows the tutor for a 20-day period, two hours a day, uh, with uh, a, a budget of 900 million. Hindi pa tayo natatapos dyan. Maliban pa dyan sa mga community-driven, meron pa yung projects nila sa former conflict areas. Ito na si Pamana. And uh, yung Pamana projects, they're all limited to the areas that were formerly uh, insurgency-afflicted. Uh, Tapos, may local... Pro uh, that's a local project. Finally, there is a PMNP. Ito naman, foreign-funded Philippine Multisectoral Nutrition Project. Kasama na naman dyan yung supplemental feeding, pero ito yung foreign component. So, labo-labo so, po ito. Kaya nga, parang nakita ko na parang the, the program uh, wants to be a mini-government, uh, but ang main, ano niya, main function is to extend assistance. Yan lang, basta iba-iba, kahit anong problema, pero... So if this is a program, uh, nga, uh, how long has this been a program of the DSWD? Wag na muna natin pag yung components of the program, but as a program. Uh, I believe that uh, this has been going on for over 20 years because I recall that... Uh, can, we the, can we have the year? I think the DSWD should know the year. 2003. So this is a 20-year program, and in 2017, the minority leader himself uh, initially proposed the Kalahi KKB. Uh, I believe that seems to be on record as one of your uh, initiatives, Bob. <laughs> well, I, I think I will disown that, uh, <laughs> that initiative. I, I have no idea, I, am, I have no recollection, Mr. President, that I have understood this Kalahi program, so I would not have, uh, I would not have uh, proposed that, Mr. I President. I believe it has morphed since uh, the time you initially proposed it <laughs> okay. as a community development program. If it's a... Uh, uh, is this program intended to have a natural lifespan? Is this program to expire in the future? Yes. Um, if uh, we notice the World Bank foreign funded infra component, uh, the infra component will already expand by the end of 2024, December. So yun, patapos na yun. Yung OSAID is long gone. I think there's an application for additional funding with the ADB naman. And this is for more additional community-driven development program. So, may natatapos naman po. Hindi, pero since we are, meron pa tayo ADB application, we don't intend it to end uh, in the near future, bale. Yeah, we're extending the program. We're borrowing from ADB. Yun po. These are exploratory talks. There's nothing oh, firm yet. Yes. But uh, the effects, uh, the intention of this community-driven development program, na humihingi sila ng additional funding, was to respond to the effects of COVID and the continuing disasters in its wake. So, yung mga uh, far-flung provincial communities ang ina-address niyan. Does this, uh, since this, this, Looks like it's a very important program of the DSWD and also well-funded and it has a large budgetary impact. Meron naman siguro kayong comprehensive brochure about this program? 
Yeah. Yeah, Pag-aralan, wala pagkailangan po yata to talaga upo, yes, upo, upuan na uh, opo Mr. 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 President. Okay? Yes, tama po si um, tama po si Minority Leader. Actually, I compelled them to list all the different modalities since there seem to be so many different mm -hmm. forms and shapes of this program. Um, essentially, I believe uh, this has been a uh, uh, work in progress. Every, every, every time there's some kind of an emergency, a program is birthed from the disaster, the epidemic, and uh, all other uh, calamities. Uh, sige po, uh, sige. But since we're talking about the budget, sige, para po maintindihan po natin. No? The budget for the Office of the Secretary in the committee report, 241.8 billion. Okay, how much of this would be under the Kalahi uh, SIDS program? It's 3.2.9. It's 2.9. Originally 3.82. It's now 2.934 billion. Okay. 2.9 uh, billion pesos of that 241 is uh, for the Kalahi Seeds Program. And this is the 2.9 are uh, the locally generated funds. May, may foreign component pa ito? Voila. That's already our share. Oh. Mm -mm. That's the breakdown I uh, read earlier among the different projects like the Pag Abot, Balik Provincia, Cash for Work, etc. That's all locally funded. Loan proceeds to be devoted to Kalahi? Yes. Uh, there's only one loan left. I think that's a 3.7 billion okay. for additional financing of uh, the post COVID loan. And uh, our counterpart and payment is contained in the unprogrammed section. So uh, that's... Yes, how much? How much done? Uh, the loan proceeds is three... Assumptions, Mr. President. Yes, I think um, the uh, idea or the uh, strategy of the DSWD is to saturate the poorest barangays. So mm. yung... Uh, uh, more uh, prosperous are excluded in their listing, which probably bloats the poverty number to 30 percent. The saturation of rural and urban poor. Yan, eh. Secretary, with your people, it does not. Nga, eh, for much of, but that's my point. Even if we assume that the unsurveyed five million are all rich, are all rich, 30 percent pare na eh, mas masabang ay na fifteen six million of the fifteen are poor. Na, ano na yun, eh? 30 plus percent, 36 percent, more than 36 percent. Mas malaki talaga ever since yung DSWD working figures for poverty than PSA. Mulat sa poll, there's always been that disconnect. Uh, Pero, and we've I, I always mean, questioned it here in the Senate. And uh, the answer has always been that their focus is uh, to saturate the rural and urban poor barangays. Yeah, but the, the administration which the secretary is part of, Okay, you, the, your success will be measured against your promises. And then the president promised at the end of his term, single digit poverty, poverty. incidence rate. Ang interpretation ko dun, not more than 9%. Correct. Okay. And of course, may assumption siya, di ba saan siya nagumpisahan? Di ba, nung, nung na-turn over sa administration niya, may assumption siya. Ang layo ang, ang na-assumption na it's not in the vicinity of 30%, which is reflected by your figures na sinuyod ninyo from the ground. Ang mas maganda nga yung figures ninyo, mas maniniwala ako sa figures ninyo. Ano, ano, yeah, totoo. Assumption niya. Kasi from? may pangalan to eh, may, may address. Yeah, from March, uh, yung ending uh, yan, yung start. Well, talagang ever since PSA, mas malaki talaga ang uh, DSWD. At uh, mas maniniwala ako sa DSWD with the, all due respect. The, dahil may mga pangalan, may mga address, may kung sino-sino talaga ang nakalistang po. Yeah, ang, ang tanong ko po, do we see the problem or or not? Yes. I mean, yes, we're with you in uh, in uh, complaining about this uh, moving targets.